in three days <clears throat> right now. So I've had her for four weeks and we've worked on recall a little bit. I filmed a little bit of that with my phone. Um, I haven't really done it much form, much more formal than that. I will. Um, I have used some kibble with that. She, you can see she does like food. Um, I've taken a, I've taken some of some of what I've done with recall is put the food in the bowl when she's outside and she doesn't want to come in. And I just shake the bowl and makes that sound and she comes running. And it, for a while there, I would give her a little bit. I don't even give her any anymore. She comes in, she's just happy to be here and excited. And I pet her a little bit, and so I don't hardly give her any food. But I have been using food to motivate her. I have not worked on sit at all. It's not because I'm afraid to teach a pointing dog to sit. I know a lot of people talk about that. I'm not afraid of it. Um, I just haven't had a real reason to. And the reason I think that is is because she doesn't really come to me. And I, one of the reasons I work on sit with my labs a lot is because it's this control thing where they can come in and I can put them on a spot and they're not jumping on me and they're not running around and they're not. And so sit is real easy to get those dogs to come and sit, sit, sit. It's real valuable. It puts them on their, puts them on their butt and it kind of slows them down and stops them. She doesn't have a tendency to get real close to me. She doesn't come running up to me. So I've not really worked on the idea of sit with her at all uh, because I haven't needed it. If she did sit for me, I don't know that I'd get a lot of value out of it because she's never close to me anyway. So I have found some things with her that as I walk up to her, sometimes she'll sit. She's pretty submissive, um, which I like. But this, the reason I'm talking now and before I get into the session is because I really wanted you to see that her place training has been a big focus and she just gets tired of that little bit of fussing that she was doing and she settles in nicely. Majority of our work has been that. So, but I also am going to show you some stuff because I have I found that with retrieving with her, she was really struggling early on. I tried retrieving with her early, didn't work. I filmed another video about that and you, you would have seen it before this one a couple weeks ago. I've done that probably with the food. I've done that probably four or five times in the last three weeks. Um, maybe not even that many times, three or four times probably. <clears throat> as soon as I did that, my reasoning for doing it was because she looked like a lab running out to make a retrieve when she chased the food out. And it made me think, well, let's just build that up first. Let's build her chasing something down. When I threw something for her, she wouldn't even go follow it. She had no interest in it. So then I decided, well, let's throw food and teach her the idea of throwing motion, chasing, getting a reward. I actually turned it into that recall because she'd come back to me and I had a food there and I'd give her food. So we did that back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I saw this enthusiasm build up in her for the game. She thought that was a game. Then I transitioned it to puppy bumper. I took the actual rope and cut it off. Um, this is a new design that we're doing, manufacturing them in-house and working on a few different things with it. Um, I'm I, I really feel like we can help our dogs have better hold from the start with a few things and I'll get into that more in detail later. But one of the modifications is, is that rope's gone. So, but as soon as I did that, pitching the dummy for her became the same excitement as chasing the food. And then she picked it up. She has no hesitation picking this up. She didn't have any hesitation picking it up. And then she didn't know what else to do but come back to me. And she'd come back to me. She recalls better with this in her mouth than not. So that's been a real nice thing. Um, you'll hear over here, I've got one big change for this. The welcome box here. And Ellie's in here dreaming right now. Uh, but she's got her two pups. She's good. So this is a little distracting. They're about five days old now. So, but you can see, she gets antsy, she gets excited, nothing changes. She's, she's, been, she's been tested quite a bit on her willingness to avoid temptation to jump off there. She's doing really well with it. But this retrieving thing, I built, I was able to get her a little excited about it. But then in the last week or so, I pitched it a couple times and she was a little hesitant to go get it. Kind of, kind of started getting sticky. So 
not not yesterday, but the day before, I did a session with her. Started out with the dummy, pitched it. She was hesitant to go get it. So I just picked the, put the dummy away and I went back to throwing food. And I just worked on the food. And so um, it seemed to build that little bit of push inside of her to run out a little bit harder and not hesitate. And she actually got a little bit distracted when it came to going to get the dummy and she kind of didn't go get it a couple times. So notice I don't call her off the dummy. I never let her get off the place. It's one of the biggest things that I think I've got going for me right now is my consistency with place training. That's why I think she's doing well with it. She never gets called off of there. I never let her jump off. If she jumps off, I put her back and I correct her for it. I'm, I'm building a lot of confidence in her on place. Um, but now I just thought about it. She's been in here for, she's probably been in here for 15, 20 minutes since she was out last on place. Normally if she was a little bit younger, I'd take her outside right now, let her go to the bathroom. I don't think she has to go. <clears throat> she could prove me wrong, I suppose. But before we get going, this is one thing that I've been doing with her too. It's just getting down with her. She does not, so she, you'll see she's kind of coming to me. Here. I've got two dogs laying on the rug right over there. So pretty distracting, but she knows that food's there. And it's past her supper time. It's 7.30, 7.40. She's about two hours past her normal supper time, at least an hour. Good. But... You'll see the difference when I get down like this. She wants to be by me. When I get up, she wants to do that. She likes to stay away from me. But when I get down, I can get her to come. Now, when I reach out for her, she ducks back. Come here. This is the recall stuff that we're gonna work on. No food for her there. But I offer it like there is. Good girl. Come on. She knows the food's up there. Come on. Come here. So this I expect to be a real high drive exercise with pitching it for. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. So you can see she doesn't have an interest to be by me when I when I'm like this. But watch what happens. Come here. Okay. As soon as I get down, it's just she's a little intimidated by me standing up yet. So that's okay. I'm not gonna fight with her about it. Instead, I'm gonna adjust my positioning to make sure that I get this little dog that wants to come by me. And come all the way and not bolt away from me like she was. So I adjust, sit down on the ground. Now, let's try a retrieve and see how she does. She's got a lot of energy, that's good. Come here. Watch, 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 watch. There's a little hesitation. Good girl! That's it, come on, good girl. Nice grab. Good. See how she picked the dummy up? I think that's real important. You go lay down. Dummy comes out, Spry wants to play. Come on. Now I don't like this. Come on. I don't want her laying behind me. There, good. Good. I want her to climb right back in with it, just like she is. And you see how she's holding it. Good girl. Take it out, put it back in. She picked it up towards the end down there. Then she adjusted and picked it up by the body. I think it's for a reason. Uh, we'll talk more about it. But what I'm doing right now with, by having her pick these dummies up this way is helping me later when it comes to her positioning and how she picks dummies up. But you saw that little bit of hesitation when, it, when she, before she gets to the rug. The other day, there was a shadow, uh, the sun was coming in. There was a clean line of sunlight and she was shy to go into the sunlight. And it's just like a Labrador is afraid to go through a shadow when there's a tree line or something. They want to run around that. It's just a barrier. It was a visual barrier. The rug is serving as a visual barrier. She's slow to go into the rug. So this time I'm gonna go a little bit shorter and see if she doesn't hit it a little harder. A little less hesitation. Good girl. That's it, come on. 
and I love how she's coming back to me. If she were to run off and go into the living room, so I don't want her dropping it, so I just give it back to her. Good. And I encourage her to hold it. Good. She's not really looking at me yet, but that's okay. Good. I'm going to let her be calm with it. Good. 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 I'm just real gently petting her here. i got one hand here kind of bracing this shoulder. And I'll touch her on her back. There. Good. I don't want to have it head shakes and I don't want to tug of war. But she hit that one a little harder. If she were to run off, I'd be building a wall right here. Or I'd be going in a hallway. But like this is pretty tempting. There's two dogs right there. There's a big giant open area for her to run. Here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Okay, let's try to get one more. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. A little sloppy on the delivery there. There. Now not a nice pickup right there. Good. Good. It was her hold wasn't real good. But now she repositions. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Ah, 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 ah. We're not going to allow head shake. We're not doing that. Good. Let's roll her gums out, take it away, and then give it back. Good. Very snappy. Good. 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 And then I'm not going to force her to hold it. I'm going to get my hands over here. I don't let her run off. I don't let her head shake. Good. I'm just forming a good behavior now that will make my life easier later. Good. No, no, no. We're not going to turn it into that. Good. Now, she was real nice and fiery tonight. She was real flat doing it the other day. So. Throw a little bit of food out for her. Good girl, come on. Good girl, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. A little distracted. That's okay. Come on. Hi, 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 hi. Come on. Makina. Makina, come on. Hi, hi. Come on. Come on, let's go. She's got something that she's chewing on. She's got. She found something on the rug. Come here. Good. 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 Whatever it is she ate, Sprite, go on and lay down. Good girl. Good girl. Come here. There. Come to me and get food while I'm standing. Don't need to do it when she's sitting. When I'm sitting down. Watch. Watch. She's feisty tonight. Girl. Come on. And I want her to come back. I want her to come right back. Come on, come on, come on. Good girl. Come on. I want her to get in the habit of come back quick. Get another one. Good girl. Come on. Ah, 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 ah. Come on. Maybe she's tempted by the rug again. Ah, da, 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 da. Come on. Makina, come on. Na, 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 na. Whatever she wants, there's there's something interesting. Come on. Good there. Good dog. Because she came back so quick, or she finally came back, I'm going to give her a piece. Good girl. Good girl. That's it. Come on. Come on. Good. I'll give her another one. Yeah. So she doesn't find those two, that's okay.
Good girl. Come on. Good girl. That's a good dog. Yeah. No food, just praise on that one. Good. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Good. Come on. Here's the face I want. Out, back, out, back, out, back. Oh, that one went down the drain, down the bed. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Good. So you can see these last couple I've given her kibble just about every time back because she's coming nice and quick. And all I'm doing is trying to get her to understand fun. Out, fun back. Fun out, fun back. Come on. Because I just don't think I could retrieve more, much more than what we're doing. Two or three retrieves. And I think that's plenty. She's plenty natural with it. But I want to get her understanding the idea of out and back more without burning her out with the idea of retrieve. I don't want to get tired with retrieve. Good girl. So I'd like her to understand it's pretty fun to go out, get something, come back. Good girl. It's nose work too. It gets their little nose working. Good girl. Good girl. Good. 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 That's it. That's all I'm gonna do tonight. But I wanted to film this. I, the session went better probably. It went different two days ago. I wouldn't say it went better. Her retrieves weren't as good two days ago. I thought her retrieves were pretty good tonight. Um, the interesting thing was the sunlight and how it changed and made a wall for her, a barrier. Now, she gets a little feisty there. So I just pick her up. She nipped at my beard there. She kind of bit it. She nipped at my hand a little bit. So I just said, I'll, I can give it to you. I can take it away freedom. She's not fussing. She's not fighting. If she does fuss and fight, she doesn't get anything. When she gives up, I give her a chance to behave again. Good. And there's no nip at my hands. There's me petting her and not getting, having behavior I don't want. Good. Come here. Come here. Come here. Good. So I think there's a risk in getting down on the ground with them because they can think they're, it's easy for them to challenge you. But I also think with her, there's a big difference when I get even stand up or on one knee in her willingness to come into me nicely. Good. But I get that. You never get that when I'm down on the ground. Come here. Come here. So this time I'll get down. And then she wants to play that game again. Come on. Hey, hey, Makina, come on. Come here. Good. 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 And there's nice. Good. I can get her to just steady up. Good. Uh, uh, uh. Good. Good. I don't want her feeling like she can sprint away from me. But I'm not going to turn it into a game of chasing her either. Good. 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 That's it. That's a, just a nice little session. I finish it out by... I have been finishing it out by... Put a little food on it, a little water on her food. Come here. Get her to come to me. Come here. Come here. You're okay. Come here. You're okay. Nobody's here. 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 And that's it. Good session.